It's a Sunday morning on Robin Hood Radio, and it's nice to have Willie Hallahan back after a week off. And, uh, of course, Willie is the host of the website, SportingACause.com, which is a great compilation uh, of events that are coming up that are all fundraisers, and somehow uh, they are tied in as uh, sports events, and they're all fundraisers. And this uh, event listing uh, goes up on a, in chronological order, so it's very easy to follow any of these events you want to support. Willie, good morning. Uh, good to have you in again. Good morning, Marshall. It's good to be back. Uh, seems like all is right with the world now that I'm back on Sunday mornings <laughs> and the week that way. Um, before I get to the calendar, there was just one event uh, that I wanted to mention and, and expand upon a little bit. Um, the Torrington Winston Rotary Club Golf Tournament uh, was uh, scheduled for the beginning of July. It's been postponed three times because of the weather. Now it's been rescheduled for August 26th. They, they play it at the Torrington Country Club. And uh, I, I hope it's a sunny day that day because um, it's a huge, huge deal when any fundraiser event has to be postponed for all kinds of reasons, um, but especially a golf tournament. Um, typically, in, in your, your average 18-hole tournament, uh, two meals are involved, usually a lunch and a dinner, sometimes a breakfast or lunch. So uh, a tremendous amount of food has been ordered for that day. The course has been reserved for that day for the tournament. Volunteers have been lined up. and Anyway, it could be a logistical nightmare when a tournament has to be postponed. Not to mention the fact that uh, players who signed up to play on, say, July 12th may not be able to play on August 26th, so there might be some uh, loss of, of revenue that way. So you know, the net is that organizers will do anything they can to hold a tournament on the day it's scheduled, if they can possibly pull it off. Um, Sometimes uh, while you're, you know, there's an intermittent rain or a light sprinkle, and they'll just play it anyway. I, I can't count the number of tournaments I've played in where uh, it's been raining to some degree or other. But these poor people, and this year, as, as we all know, it's been a, a rainy summer. So this is a third postponement for this particular tournament in all the aforementioned problems that come with it. So I pray that they, they have a, a decent day. Um, it reminds me of, I think it was two years ago, uh, the Sharon Fire Company Tournament, which is always hold, held at the uh, Sharon Country Club, was postponed for like three consecutive Tuesdays. Uh, 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 golf courses tend to hold their tournaments on a particular day uh, of the week. and I, I'm sure it was Tuesdays at the Sharon Country Club. And you know how weather can get into these seven-day cycle patterns. Well, they, they postponed one Tuesday because of the, the rain. The next Tuesday was the same thing. This, the cycle continued. I think they postponed it three times. And on the fourth, they actually ended up playing in the rain because it just rained every single Tuesday. So uh, I feel their pain. Uh, I've had some involvement in, in uh, golf tournament uh, organization. And uh, they'll, they'll play it whenever they can, but... This year in particular, it's just been one of those years when uh, the rains are so heavy, they just, they just plain postpone it. Anyway, to the, to the calendar. Um, today is the Tour of the Litchfield Hills. I talked a little bit about that last uh, Sunday. It starts in Co Park in Torrington, but uh, some of their longer rides are going to bring people up into, into the, uh, this area here, the Litchfield Hills, uh, the Kane and Salisbury area. Uh, this is a bicycle ride, by the way, um, and last week, and I'll do it again, I caution drivers that there are going to be a lot of cyclists on the road. Uh, uh, they're going to be taking tours through the more, most scenic parts of our area, and the most scenic parts oftentimes are the worst roads for uh, the combination of cars and bicyclists. Um, you know, so... Uh, and, and, and just combine that with uh, the summertime. On a nice day when we've had so few, there are going to be a lot of bicyclists out uh, as individuals or families uh, taking advantage of the, the warm weather. So there could be a lot of bicycles out there. Um, oftentimes they're lined up in groups of three or four or ten. Uh, so, like I said last week, when you, if you're in a car and you approach a bicyclist or several of them, uh, you have to wait if, if the passing situation is not safe. You've got oncoming, oncoming traffic or you've got a, a corner, a blind corner where you can't see what's coming. You have to wait uh, as these 15 and 20 mile an hour 
uh, bikes are cruising along until you can safely pass. That's just the way it is. Um, and cyclists have to remember that uh, they're subject to the same rules of the road as cars. Um, and, and with the ignorance in this issue, this this car bike dynamic, I've talked about this over the years. Um, there's plenty of blame to go around when it comes to not knowing the rules, uh, and I don't know who is worse. Uh, both car drivers and cyclists uh, are, are to blame for sure. Yesterday, I was I was driving around the the area, and two people on uh, these electric assisted bikes were driving straight at me. They're on the wrong side of the road. They should be going with traffic. They're coming right towards me. They were on the uh, the shoulder, but there wasn't much of it. And, you know, the the recipe for disaster was everywhere there. So, you know, if, if, if something went wrong, they had to uh, swerve a little bit for something in the road, uh, they would have bought my side view mirror. Uh, so, um Anyway, uh, we're not all going to learn, learn the rules of the road in the next day or so, but today, whenever you see a bike, just just be careful. Uh, we don't want anybody to lose their lives on, on our roads. Uh, tomorrow, the uh, Litchfield Hills Open Golf Tournament will be held at the Torrington Country Club. That's for the benefit of the Litchfield Sports uh, Booster Club. Uh, also tomorrow, I, I, I hate it when... when Tournaments end up on the same day, but uh, also tomorrow the James DeSillo Annual Canaan Exchange Club Tournament will be held uh, at the Wyandotte Country Club. That's a beautiful facility up in Great Barrington, and the proceeds from that will provide scholarships for students from both Canaan and Falls Village. Uh, next Friday, that'll be the 6th, we're, we're in August, Marshall, um, Camp Sundown's fourth and 14th Annual Golf Classic be held at the Copake Country Club in Prairieville. Um, proceeds will help uh, support Camp Sundown, which is, uh, I've never even heard of the place before, but uh, it's the only camp in the country that accommodates children with uh, uh, xeroderma pigmentosum. It's a, a mouthful to say, uh, XP is the, the, the shorthand for it. Uh, and this is really a sad condition where Kids can't go out in the sun uh, because the sunlight will fry their skin. Uh, they can't even be exposed to fluorescent lighting. It's the, the UV rays that attack them. Um, and not only that, but they're subject to s certain kinds of cancers, and, and quite frankly, they tend not to survive often into adulthood. Uh, but anyway, this Camp Sundown operates at night. Uh, instead of the daytime, so these kids can play. Uh, they can play sports outside they, uh, and do other things that the, the uh, most kids can do during the day. So um, it's a it's a great service. Uh, I, I hope to blog more about that condition and the and some of the people who suffer from it in the future. Um, this coming Saturday, the seventh, the People's Forest Seven Mile Trail Run will be held at the People's Forest. <coughs> Excuse me, State Park in Bark Hampstead. And uh, like uh, most events since the pandemic, regist registration is online only. Uh, you just can't show up the day of the race uh, and expect to enter like you used to be able to in the old days. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that becomes a permanent element of fundraising events, this notion that uh, um, you circumvent uh the event day registration by doing it all online in advance. It makes it easier for the organizations, and uh, I, I, I expect that will be a mainstay moving forward for just about any event. Um, next Sunday, the 8th, the Ancrum Fire Company's 34th Annual Golf Tournament will be held over at Under Mountain Golf Course in Copake. Um, this is a handicap tournament where golfers play their own ball. Uh, most most tournaments these days use a scramble format, uh, where basically the foursome uses the best shot of the group. Everybody takes a shot and they decide who had the best shot, and then they everybody hits from there. So uh, every shot and every hole is more of a group effort. Um, the handicap format that this one is is uh, much more difficult. Uh, uh, your individual abilities or lack thereof are in full view, and I'll, I'll be playing in that one. So uh, the week after, I'll report back on how badly I did. 
And, of course, the proceeds from this tournament will benefit the Ankrum Fire Company. And that about wraps it up for this coming week, Marshall. Well, you know, it's funny when I, back when I played golf, and I'm going to be playing it again next year, uh, people always tried to figure out, uh, okay, where are we going to have, where are we, gonna, where are we going to take Marshall's shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so some of those tournaments uh, uh, require that uh, uh, even though you're using uh, the best shot, uh, they require us X number of drives yeah. from each person. Uh, um, you, you see some foursomes, you know, there, there are certain foursomes that go there to win. I, I tend to be in foursomes where you go to have a good time. You know, winning isn't even a, in the cards. But you'll have one of the foursome, uh, these super teams, I'll call them, that they, they can drive 300 yards, and then the other one's a, a great putter and, and so forth. They almost engineer the team for winning. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, uh, um, yeah, you and I, Marshall, we, pl- we tend to play for the fun of it. Well, well, that's the whole thing, uh, and, uh, and 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 the teams. I always got asked to play in a lot of different teams, and so uh, I ended up. My drive ended up being used on par threes a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. That's all right. You still got to get close to the pin on a par three. That's it. All right, Willie. Uh, have a great weekend, and we'll speak to you next week. Okay, Marshall. You do the same. Take, Take care. care, Willie Hallahan, Sporting a Cause. You'll find his website at sportingacause.com.